guys and welcome back to another episode of Genshin Impact Hangout Events. Last week we finished up Diana's Hangout Events and then this episode we'll be doing a new person's and I've decided who I'm going to do. And I decided that we are going to do Sayu's next. We still have to do hers, Beidou's, and Chongyun's. So we're, we're almost finished. We got the majority of them done. But, um... In the spirit of getting the kids out of the way, since we just finished Iona, we're gonna do Sayu. So, this has got six endings, so let's see. And it's uh, fitting we're already in an Azuma, so. Probably won't have to travel far. Tainari, please. <laughs> okay, go to the city. Going to Inazuma City. Okay. Okay, I, this might be a little weird, but I think I want to switch parties for this. Where is my littles party? Littles. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to switch to the littles party to do Sayu's hangout so I can roll around. Hmm? Sayu? Oh, there she goes. Doing ninja things. Sayu, run after Sayu. <laughs> she's a ninja. Of course she's nowhere to be seen. What were you expecting? Yeah, it finally occurred to the traveler. Hmm, maybe she's using her ninja skills. Um, that's a leaf. And that's a tail. Sayu! <laughs> Sweetie, that's a barrel. It does, it, your barrel... Okay, I can understand the leaf. But the disguise is not very effective when there's a tail poking out of the back. You realize that, right? Hi there! <laughs> Aww, he's fine. He's in my disguise. Well, like I said, the leaf would have been fine. That wouldn't have been so, too suspicious. But the tail, the tail kind of gave you away, sweetie. <laughs> well, if your tail wasn't sticking out. Huh? My tail is sticking out? Yes. Uh, I must have been too nervous and failed to fully utilize my ninjutsu technique. So, uh, what do you mean? I was just about to ask you the same thing. Well, uh, I heard that Shimmer has added a delicious new dish to their menu, and Yai Publishing House has some good light novels. And the good thing I said that stuff is always nice. So, uh, you know, today's weather is perfect for all that stuff. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? What's the real reason? No, really, I'm not up to anything. I'm just a little tired and thought I could use a good nap. <sighs> I'll be going now. Don't bother chasing me again. You won't be able to catch me anyway. Perhaps I'll tell Ayaka I ran into you here. Oh no, bringing her boss into this, or one of her bosses. I guess she technically works for Ayato, but... <laughs> Then answer the question honestly. I don't want to hear any complaints, no matter how 
these are the truth masters. So, you know I'm into Tsumatsu Ban, right? Well, it's our job to take care of matters that are inconvenient for the higher ups, which sometimes includes ambushing people. I see. Go on. Not really. You know what that means, right? I'm still no walking tall. Don't tell me it's because of my height. No, um, compared to what I was just reading before I did this recording, that's very tame. What I was reading kind of had a lot of gore in it. And that's all I'll say. <laughs> As long as you're not coming after me, I'll look the other way, Sayu. Uh, actually, according to my orders, you are. Though I have no intention of really attacking you. I'd, I'd hope not, because I would really... I don't want to hurt you, you're cute! Even though you're a ninja and, and everything, I know, but... You're cute, I don't want to hurt you. Most of other suitable operators. <sighs> All this craziness is starting to interfere with my sleep schedule. I just dropped by to see how you were doing. I was glad to see that you're okay. Well, why all the running and what's with all those lame excuses just now? I was worried about how you'd react. I mean, who knows what you'd do if you knew that I was out to ambush you. Yet, when I told you, you didn't so much as flinch. I guess that actually makes me feel a lot better. Uh, well, you were a great help to us before. What's really concerning is whether you... Whatever's behind these orders of yours. Who do you want to talk to? Someone in the Yashiro Commission? Who is the Shrine Maiden you mentioned earlier? She's the one who's been assigned to supervise my work. She always tries to catch me whenever I'm slacking off. Basically, it's her duty to keep me from napping. But... She would probably know more about the origins of my mission. Then let's go ask her about it. Fine. I'll take you to her. But I'll have to hide somewhere in the distance. If she catches me anywhere near there, I'll never hear the end of it. Fair and enough. And they'll sentence me to all kinds of work. Which will really cut into my time for napping. Don't worry, I understand. Let's go. Please, she's quite perceptive. You mustn't tell her that you've seen me anywhere. You got that? We have a deal. No word about me. We do have a deal. I got you, Sayu. Okay. Um, Shrine Maiden is over here. This time. Huh? I didn't expect to see you here. You're the traveler, right? It was a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you've heard of me? <laughs> Playing coy. Yes, Miss Tomisaga has spoken of you before. You seem familiar. It appears my intuitions were correct. May I ask what brings you here? I happen to be in the area. Do you come here often? That sounds like a bad pickup line, but okay. Just so happens I'm looking for a little child by the name of Sayu. She's a ninja with a nasty habit of disappearing the moment I turn around. <sighs> she's always neglectful of her duties. She often comes here to take a nap, but it seems she's already predicted that I would come looking for her. You haven't happened to see her anywhere, have you? She's wearing a Mojina costume. Pretty hard to miss. No, of course not. Really? Well then, I suppose I'll just have to keep searching for her. By the way, I've caught word that the Yashiro Commission has supposedly dispatched someone to ambush me. Oh? How could that be? How did you catch wind of this? Did you encounter the ninja top of the matter? Uh, I've just got an unusual feeling that someone's following me. Huh. Well, I'm sure this 
no need to worry. You're probably just overthinking things. After all, you have been of great service to the Yashiro Commission, and many are thankful for your actions. How could anyone even consider dispatching a ninja to attack you? Is it possible that a ninja could have gone rogue? You know, a ninja likes... <laughs> oh my god, Traveler, you are so bad at being coy. Like Sayu? You mean to say that this matter is related to Sayu? No, not at all. I'm just making an example. That's all. There's absolutely no need to worry about Sayu. If anything, she's extremely loyal and would never act presumptuously. Though she often neglects her duties as a ninja and seems to never heed instructions, She's certainly not one to go against our principles. Given her age, the portentous tasks are not assigned to her. Of course I, you wouldn't hurt me. You know, I didn't need you to tell me that. What's the matter? Are you still worried? All right. Just to be sure, I shall personally inquire about this matter with the Yashiro Commission. Though I am the Shrine Maiden, it is also part of my duty to take on work from the Chumachiban. Thank you, that would certainly help. I'll be sure to look into it. I'm curious myself what could be the cause of such absurd rumors. My intuition tells me that Sayu's mistress might be behind this whole misunderstanding. Are you completely certain that you haven't seen her around recently? Yes, absolutely certain. Huh? Oh, Sayu, sweetie, your tail! Don't tell me she left. She did. She left her tail sticking out again. Don't even think about trying to sneak away. Come over here this instant. Oh my god. Hmm. It does appear that Sayu has really been given a mission to ambush you, which wasn't assigned by me, of course. I apologize. I'm afraid I did not treat this matter with due sincerity. I shall take these orders back to the Yashiro Commission for further clarification. Hmm. <sighs> well, if there's nothing left for you to do, then I see. <clears throat> Sayu! Oh, uh, yes? Where do you think you're off to? You have ninjutsu training to complete, so you shall return with me to Chinju Forest. Ah. <sighs> Coming with me, even if I have to carry you, Sayu. Is that what you want? <laughs> oh, no need. I'm sorry. I'll go quietly. In which case, traveler, will you come with us too? Why do you want me to come? I promise there won't be any trouble. I need to get a good time. That's all. I hope you by bringing me to the shrine, maiden. So now you need to return the favor. You're lucky you're so cute. Fine. I honestly hope you're not up to something again, Sayu. Alright. Let's go to Chinju Forest. Commission now to inquire about Sai's mission orders. In the meantime, please keep an eye on her. Sai, you can start by warming up. And though you may often be difficult for me, I certainly will not abide any trouble for the traveler. Understand? Yes, ma'am. So that's why you wanted me to come along to help you slack off? Actually, I invited you to come as a helper. No need to go no. into too much detail. No. I don't know you. Go away. As soon as she picks up on my tracks, it's nearly impossible for me to speak to. But you're also super skilled, so maybe you can help me. I don't think I should be doing this kind of thing. Huh? You mean you won't rescue someone in a moment of dire need? 
Are you really in dire need, Sayo? Just, just dire need of a nap. Was that? Is that it, though? Oh my god. I've been meaning to ask you, why are you so obsessed with sleeping all the time? Because sleep is good, Traveler. Sleep is nice. Don't you know? There are tons of benefits to sleeping. You can regain energy, clear your mind, pass the time, and escape from all of your troubles. But most importantly, sleep helps you grow. And I've got plenty of growing to do. Growing? That's right. The other ninja family fought tall trees in a single bound and took the tasty fruit way up high. Being taller is the key to everything. All the other ninja masters are already way taller than me. Sensei told me that kids only have one chance to grow up, and that I'll miss my chance if I keep slacking off. But is growing taller really related to how long you sleep? Of course it is. Haven't you seen someone suddenly grow taller while they're sleeping? No. I've never seen anyone grow in their sleep. It happens all the time. Well, I guess it does sound silly when you think about it. Ugh, never mind. The longer I talk to you, the <clears throat> more you'll convince me otherwise. Besides, what's wrong with wanting a little more sleep? <sighs> oh, I'm already crazy tired. Oh, don't yawn. You'll make me yawn. Sayu, please. <laughs> Growing taller is really what you care about, isn't it? Exactly. At first, I only wanted to grow as fast as possible. But as I started sleeping more every day, the sleepier I became. The sleepier I became, the more I slept. <sighs> Even right now, I'm awake and talking with you. But my brain feels telepathically. Trust me, work is the last thing on my mind. Maybe you can help me. Even though I've been getting more sleep recently, I haven't gained any head at all. Any ideas? Uh, it's not the amount of sleep, but the quality of sleep that's keeping you from growing. Sure. Quality of sleep is hard to come by. Especially with the shrine maiden always asking me. Not much I can do about that. Somehow, she knows all my favorite napping spots. Sometimes I wonder if she knows everything. <sighs> it's tough to throw her off my trail. Anyway, let's go have a look around. <sighs> Maybe I can find a nice place to try. Don't yawn, don't yawn, don't yawn. Oh my god. Sayu, you need to stop yawning. You're making me sleepy and I'm not even tired. Oh my goodness. Alright, where is this thing asking me to go? Considering my, uh, Klee is my, like, main DPS in this party, and she would be pretty useless against Pyro Slimes, I did pretty well with that fight. Is this where you usually come to nap? <sighs> yep. It's not ideal for hiding, but it certainly has a nice view and tons of fresh air. Napping here makes you seem just that much sweeter. But Slimes? Seriously! Or Fairy? There's never any Slimes here. And now there's ashes everywhere. Or I can't nap here. I'll feel all nasty and grimy and it'll make my outfit dirty. You seem pretty picky just over a place to nap. You gotta have a comfortable place to take a nap, Traveler. 
This is basic information. Why would you nap somewhere uncomfortable? Of course. Even though it's in three practical minerals, it's very important to consider the quality of the material. Just in case the Shrine Lady won't work for me, I always sleep with one ear to the ground. That way, I can run to its feet the moment the healer approaches. <sighs> Which is exactly why you're such a light sleeper now. I suppose one could say this makes you an even more impressive ninja. That's how things are during the day. But sometimes, I can't sleep well at night either. <sighs> suppose the dizzy made me shout and got rid of these lines before the whole forest went up in flames. Seems like I need to shout out another clue for now. Do you have any backup napping spots? Of course. But the Shrine Maiden is always looking for where I like to sleep. So I have to keep finding more. Come with me. Hopefully she hasn't discovered any of my lucid napping spots. Okay. Alright, where are we going now? Over there. Kitsune everywhere. Seems like the coast is clear. Huh? Wait, what's that? Looks like some sort of sharp pointy ninja ninja gadget. They look kinda like throwing stars, but they're too big. Oh now I recognize it. It's meant to keep intruders at bay, but is also often used for maid adjoining. It really hurts if you step on one. Be careful. There's a bunch on the stones here. They're probably from in the grass as well. Traces of lots of activity here. I've got a bad feeling about this. What's wrong? It's one of the shrine maidens back here. Once she discovers one of my napping spots, she'll turn it into a training area for the Shimatsu bomb to keep me from sleeping there. Ah, but how does she find this one? Do you think she's also the one behind the slimes we ran into earlier? How would she find the slimes, Traveler? Know the danger that Kylo's going to bring to the forest. Yeah, Sa Sayu has a very good point here, Traveler. Like, why, why would you think that? But it's hard to say for sure. The Shrine Maiden will go to extreme lengths to catch me. It's almost as if she's my sworn enemy. She wouldn't go that far, would she? She's the bane of my existence, that's for sure. Okay, all right, that's that, that's definitely a sentence. Why don't we go and have a look at your next backup spot? Hold on, we can't just leave all these scattered around like this. Otherwise, we could harm the kitsune or other wildlife. We should pick them all up. Uh, aren't you worried that Nana could be, still be in the area? Then we'll just have to be quick. Let's pick it all up and run. We can do it fast enough if we try. Uh, is this time? Them a piece of my mind. You really give them a piece of your mind? Yeah, that's right. You can't just let something like this die. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can't promise anything, but I'll try. Anyway, <laughs> let's get a move on. I need to pick all this stuff up. Um. Oh, it's like there's more. Where? <sighs> Finally, that's the last of it. I love the little clapping animation she does. That's really cute. <laughs> See, even the kids are there thanking us now. That's right. Don't eat any strange ninja gadgets. Got it? <laughs> You're a very caring person, are you? Perhaps we could go to the next spot? Given what we saw just now, I'm afraid the Shrine Maiden has already discovered all my usual spots. Nowhere is safe from the Maiden. Now if 
such case, I need to scout out a new place for them. <laughs> Dan Shukaku, really? Uh, Amakana, Amakana Island, Kana Hadi. Is that? Am I saying that right? I don't know. Which island is that? I can't remember. Let's uh, let's do Konda Village. That's not far from here. No, there's too many people there. All the shining and the happy mm. healers act down. I just know where we are in no time. Good point. Uh, I guess there's no choice but to go out adventuring. As they say, the most dangerous of places is often the safest of places. So if we're going to avoid the Shrine Maiden, I guess the safest place would be to plan Narukami Shrine. Are you serious? Yeah, she'd never expect to find me sleeping in the ditch she at the Plan Narukami Shrine. My question though is how is Yai going to feel about her Sayu sleeping in her tree? <laughs> I guess we could give it a try. Alright, up the mountain we go. I have a feeling Miko is not going to like Sayu sleeping in her tree. But okay. Uh oh, I have to stand here. Huh? Forget the shrine, maiden. This place is crawling with members of the Yashiro Commission. What are they all doing here? But we can't turn back now. Let's sneak inside and have a closer look. Don't alert them to our presence, alright? Quietly now. Oh, don't tell me not. It's a sneaking section. I hate these sneaking sections! I'm never very good at them! Oh my god. I'm never very good at these. Why are you asking me to do this? Oh no 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 I'm not here. Don't notice me. I was like, please don't loop back around here. Please. Uh, don't notice me, 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 don't notice me. Oh, 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 okay. Got it. And I won't disturb you. I'll keep that in mind. Aww. Of course. Sayu! Where are you, Sayu? Oh no. I'll go stall her. Would you? Oh, thanks. Just so you can lure her away from here. Hmm? Oh, it's you. After I returned from checking with the Yashiro Commission concerning the ambush operation, I discovered that you and Sayu had already left the forest. Was she here with you? She left a while ago. Strange. I found all sorts of traces along the road. I didn't use Okay, that would make sense if I walked here, but I teleported. So your logic is invalid. <laughs> You. That was very kind of you. If that's all, I'll be leaving now. Hmm. Wait a moment. Are you absolutely sure you haven't seen Sayu? Yes. 
I'm sure. Although I can't prove it, my intuition tells me that she is nearby. No wonder Sai is always looking over her shoulder. Oh no, it's the kids tonight from when we were picking up all the ninja gear. Little guy, you're giving me away from one kids tonight to another. Could you just, 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 just help me out here? Never catch me. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> picture though she gotta go fast <laughs> definitely no work today okay that was pretty cute you'll never take me alive <laughs> okay all right let's see all right so what did we get this time all right so we got a couple more branches um, we got that this time. So next time I think we'll go back to give it up and see if we can't get another branch because I'm almost, with how many endings this has, I'm almost certain at least one of these leads to another ending. So that's what we'll do next time. Alright, so that's about it for this episode. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye!